Welcome back. Uh, here we are back in technical drafting and you'll see from the uh, assignment directions that we're going to get started on creating a cabin floor plan. So the first thing to do with the cabin floor plan obviously uh, you're going to start a new drawing. So you're going to want to save that work, uh, that drawing, so uh, you won't lose it. And then you're going to want to set up your units and we'll uh, take a look at that right here. So here you'll see you want to save your work in some location where you're going to know where it is and that way you'll be able to find it next week when you need it. To change the units, just type units. You're going to want to go uh, change it to architectural and set the precision to a quarter inch. The next thing you'll want to do is set up the layers for this drawing. So we'll take care of that right here. You will find all of the, uh, the list of layers in the directions slide uh, that is given to you for this assignment. Uh, the only one you have to watch out for, I believe, is the switch lay line layer. Um, it's going to be a different type of line type. So you want to make sure you get that. So once you have all your layers set up, you can uh, then choose the floor plan layer and you'll want to begin by doing your exterior walls. And you'll see that uh, how we do that right here. To handle your exterior walls, make sure you just follow the dimensions that are given in the instructions. And then you're going to offset uh, so that you have a four inch wall thickness. Now that you got your exterior walls in place, uh, you want to begin with the interior walls. Um, for this I rely heavily on the uh, offset and trim commands. And I'll start here with the pantry. So once I finish up the pantry, I'm going to begin working in that bathroom area. So just getting my offset and trim for the bathroom area. And uh, you'll see how I do that right here. So to do this, I just use the offset command uh, to get the locations. Usually it's from the outside corner of an exterior to uh, just double check where the dimensions are located to get your wall locations. Once you have that wall location, uh, then you're going to make sure in the bathroom area there is a six inch wall, so you want to be on one of them, so you want to pay attention to that as well. Once you finish the bathroom area, then we're going to move over, we're going to look at that uh, where that closet area is, and we'll finish that out on the inside as well.
So once you have that closet in the back bedroom finished out, you can then concentrate on finishing out the fireplace, which you'll see here. Don't forget to put your name on your work before you get ready to print it out. And go ahead and print the PDF and submit this week's progress in the assignment. Uh, and I'll see you next time. So when you go to print, you're going to change the paper size to uh, Arch C, which is 18 by 24. And then you're going to change it to window, print the window, and you're going to change your scale, custom scale, to half inch equals one foot. And then hit the save to PDF at the bottom, after you center everything, and save it to 